Welcome to another episode of Wonders of the World Wide Web. In this episode, we're going to talk about Neuralink. But what is Neuralink? Neuralink is a system that allows you to connect your brain to a computer. For Neuralink, you'll need a brain, a brain implant, the Neuralink installation floppy, the Neuralink interface, a transistor battery, 9 volts, a Neuralink subscription, a personal computer with MS-DOS installed on it, a hard disk of 20 megabytes or higher is recommended. Also, the Neuralink training guide is recommended. You may have seen the advertisements in magazines. Finally, after a long test period, Neuralink is now available. But how does it work? First, you'll have to get your Neuralink brain implant from the designated Neuralink service center. Last week, I got my Neuralink implant installed. Neuralink will put a bunch of microscopically small wires in your brain that are connected to a small circuit board with a broadcasting unit. No batteries are required for this because it converts your body heat into electricity. It's called thermoelectricity. Wow, isn't that amazing? The implant makes it possible to send information from my brain to the Neuralink interface, which requires a battery. We connected the interface to the communication port of a computer with a serial cable. After that, we installed the software. Let's explore it. We go to the folder Neuralink and type Neura and press return. Now we see the opening screen of Neuralink. Imagine the color red to continue. Okay, I'll think about a strawberry. Wow, it works! I controlled the computer with my thoughts. Now we're going to go through all the functions of the software. Let's start with my favorite function, thoughts to speech. We don't think in full sentences. We think in what the cognitive scientist Steven Pinker calls mentalese. If you want a cup of coffee, you don't think the sentence, I am craving a cup of coffee, but you still have that thought. Because of this, thoughts to speech only works if you think a sentence, word by word, as loud as possible in your brain. <laughs> I've practiced this before. Unfortunately, the Neuralink software isn't a language virtuoso, as you can see. You may think, why doesn't Neuralink convert mentalese to sentences? Well, Neuralink and a Californian university are working on that. The first experiments are successful, and with this technology, they can even read the minds of animals. The university was so nice to send us a copy of their research tapes. This monkey has a Neuralink brain implant installed. Let's see what he's thinking about. This food tastes good. It tastes good. I like it. They tried it on a cat as well. Hey, that's the guy who lives in my house. He feeds me every day. I hate that jerk. You can also control the mouse cursor with your thoughts. See? Left, right, left, right, up, down. And if you do a lot of exercises, you can even make a drawing with your mind. You can also save and recover memories with Neuralink. Everyone has experienced it at some point. You can't remember something but suddenly recall everything when you hear a detail from that memory. We call those details access points. Neuralink can erase access points and it will erase entire memories. You can also store access points as a backup. I backed up the access point to memories of my ex-boyfriend Jim on a diskette. 
And now I'm erasing all my memories of my ex from my brain. Are you sure you want to do that? Yes, done. Wow, this is weird. I see on the screen that I had a boyfriend named Jim, but I don't remember anything. But I do remember that I backed up the access point to my memories of him. Now I'm going to restore my memories of my ex-boyfriend. The diskette was damaged. Too bad. <laughs> if I really liked my ex, I would have probably made more backups. With the Neuralink, you can also play music without headphones. I connected my Walkman to my wireless interface. Wow, this is so weird. Papa, don't freak. I'm in trouble. Tubular. A function I really like is using Neuralink as a remote control for your television set and VCR. You'll never have to search under your couch pillow for your remote anymore. Neuralink is also handy for people who want to study. I opened a text file about the history of knitting. After loading, the software offers me to store the text into my brain. Let's see if this works. It's sending 59 pages to my brain. I can feel that something is happening. It feels very weird. Wow, it worked! I know everything about knitting. Did you know that knitting was likely invented in the Middle East or North Africa? Wow, this could have been really helpful back in my day. Another experimental function of the Neuralink is that it can summarize your dreams. I tried it last night and the computer is almost done with processing the data. It has never been easier to keep a dream diary. that you can also communicate with other people who have a Neuralink installed. Neuralink calls this system The Shining, based on a book by Stephen King. Hi, can you hear me? Yes, my name is Danny. Hi, what is your favorite food, Danny? Peanut butter. Thank you. Last but not least, more and more companies and software programmers are writing new software for the Neuralink. A fan of our show sent us a floppy disk with homemade software. Let's see what's on it. Brain.com. Let's try it. Welcome to Brain, a Neuralink app for your brain. Hmm, what's an app? I guess it's some modern weird computer jargon for application. <laughs> Is your Neuralink interface attached to your PC, yes or no? Yes. Oh no! I think it's a virus! I, I, I feel different! It's touching me! Just kidding, people! <laughs> Neuralink is absolutely virus free, and if you're still worried, you can always back up your memories. If you have more questions, you can contact Neuralink online.